In this really quick video, I'm going to show you how to create a new shell for a teacher in the Hopkins Moodle system. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is if you have administrative privileges for the entire site or for a subsection of the site. So in this example, we're on the home page with somebody who has administrative privileges for the entire um, Moodle site. So what you're going to do is you are going to click in the settings or under the settings on site administration. You're going to want to go down to courses and then you're going to add a course. And at this point what you're going to want to do is navigate to the section where you, this course will exist. So I'm going to be putting a Health 9 course page in at West Junior High. So I'm scrolling down looking for West and a subcategory at West is Health Science. So I'm going to click into there. And I am going to scroll to the bottom and say Add a New Course. And I put very few things in here. What I do do is I type in the name of the course. So this is going to be Health 9. In most cases, I will do a dash and put the teacher's last name, such as this. But in this case, it is shared by many teachers, and so I'm going to leave that part out. I'm going to put in a short name, which is what becomes a part of the bookmarks, or these are called breadcrumbs up here if you're navigating around in the course. So I usually just do something without any spaces. If I did have a teacher's name in there, I might throw that in. This, this has to be unique to every course. You can't have two courses with the same short name. The course summary, the teacher will eventually fill out, so I don't do anything there. Default format is topics, but that, that doesn't mean that a teacher couldn't change it back to weekly. And everything else stays as the default. I turn the gradebook off because that would most often be used in a course that where a teacher wasn't using Infinite Campus or if it was a completely online course we might have a great, the gradebook um, in use. Activity reports, I turn that on because that way the teacher can see logs of activity or different things that the students do in the course when they're um, viewing certain pages or interacting with the content. And this is going to be a course with no content in it as soon as I make it. So I, I um, change it so that it's hidden from the public by changing availability to not available to students. This is something the teacher can change at will. I click on Save Changes. And the next step of this process is really just to assign teachers who are able to edit these pages. So I go, and you're, by default, you're brought to the page to add teachers. I click on Enroll Users, and I'm adding three editors or teachers to this page. So Jane Kleiman is one, so I type in her last name and press Return, and it filters down to the Kleimans in the district. And I want to be careful here because if I just click Enroll, she'll end up uh, in the default role, which is student, and I want her to be a teacher. So I use the pull-down menu to choose teacher. I click Enroll. And the next one is Danielle Baguki, and I can't even spell or say that. So nice thing about it is you can type in part of the last name. It'll bring up everybody with that in their last name, and lo and behold, I can find her. So I click Enroll and Andrea Donald and I press return on my keyboard and she's right up here I click enroll and then I do finish enrolling users and literally that is it and now this course it's a blank shell but it's created ready to go